I'm Rob Bell, and in this live experiment, we're asking the question, how can we power a model car using potential energy? What we're gonna need is a pen and ruler. We're gonna need some straws, some barbecue skewers, a pair of scissors, plastic bottle tops, some tape, some sticky tape. You're gonna need a balloon, a rubber bands, some polystyrene that you'd find kind of in a box with some packaging, and you're gonna need a standing knife. So to start off, we need to cut out a block from our polystyrene. It's gonna be the chassis of our model car. Now, we wanna measure out three inches along one edge. Uh, it's three inches, I'll mark that with my pen. And then taking my standing knife and being very, very careful, I'm going to cut this out. And there we go, we've got our chassis. Next thing we need, uh, we're gonna take two of our straws. Now we wanna cut these at the same width as our chassis here. I'm gonna stick those down onto the bottom of our chassis using my tape here on each side. So those straws, are nice and secure on the bottom of our chassis. That's the top, that's the bottom. Okay, now we're gonna get the wheels on. Now to do that, we're using our plastic bottle caps as our wheels. And what we need to do is taking our Stanley knife again, we need to make some little holes right in the middle of those. So to do that, I'm just gonna hold the knife in the middle so now we've got the holes in the bottle caps, we're gonna skewer them onto our axles and those are what our barbecue skewers are here for. Now, you wanna cut these to about four inches. Now when you put the wheels onto your axles here, you wanna make sure that the insides of the bottle caps are gonna be on the outside of the car like that. So to do that, I'm first gonna poke my axle through this bottle cap and push it all the way along to the other end like so. I'm gonna pop that through the straw. So I've got the sharp end coming out the other side. You wanna get the bottle so it's just on the edge of the axle there. Poke that through, got the skewer coming out the other side and you can skewer the other bottle top as well. So our final little bit to add our engine onto our model if you like, is you need to take your straw uh, I've got a bendy straw here, so I'm just gonna cut off the bendy bit, which leaves me with about five inches. We're gonna attach that to the end of the straw here. And we're gonna attach it with an elastic band. Okay, so I've got that rubber band around the balloon, over the straw, that's wrapped around there three times. That should be enough to make sure that none of the air is gonna escape through this bit here, and it's only gonna escape through the straw itself. So what I wanna do finally is attach our power source here to our car. I'm gonna do that with a little bit more tape. Secure the straw down onto the top of our model car here. And there we go, that is pretty much it. So there we go, I've taped the straw down. Now, if you are liking what you've seen so far, click the like button below. And if you're having a go at home, leave some comments underneath. Let us know how you, how you got on. Effectively, when I blow up the balloon, I'm filling the balloon with potential energy because of the elasticity of the rubber in the balloon. That builds up a pressure, and when we release that pressure and we let the air flow out, we're releasing the potential energy. The air flows out and accelerates out in one direction, which in turn accelerates the car in the opposite direction. And as the potential energy transfers into kinetic energy, we see our car move along the track. Let's do it again. So, right now, our model car has got elastic potential energy stored up in the balloon. Because of the elasticity, we've had to stretch the rubber in the balloon, but it's got no kinetic energy. When I let this go and I release the potential energy, it's gonna be converted into kinetic energy. And there it goes. Never get tired of that. Right, for the last run, I'm gonna give this as much kinetic energy as possible by starting it off with as much potential energy as possible.
elastic potential energy and gravitational energy, starting at the top of a ramp. Ready, three, two, one, go!